Let's begin with a simple example involving computing the area of a region in the plane, in this case an elliptical region, given by x squared over 9 plus y squared over 4 equals 1. Now there are two ways that we could set this up as a double integral. The first way involves integrating in the vertical direction first. So we fix a value of x and then integrate in y, and then after we do that, we integrate horizontally in the x direction. Now such an approach would involve writing that double integral in terms of an integrand that equals dy dx in that order. And then fixing a value of x, we solve for y. The limits on y are going to go from negative square root of 4 minus 4 ninths x squared to positive square root of 4 minus 4 ninths x squared. We get that by solving the equation for the ellipse for y in terms of x. And then we integrate x going from negative 3 to positive 3. Okay, that's the first approach to doing this integral. The second approach involves integrating horizontally first and then integrating vertically. Now to do this, what would we have to do? We would switch the order of integration. We would be integrating dx dy and then solving for the equation of the ellipse Solving for x in terms of y, we would get x going from minus square root of 9 minus 9 fourths y squared to positive square root of 9 minus 9 fourths y squared. Then after that, the limits on y are simple. They go from negative 2 to positive 2. Now we're not going to do either of these integrals, but in either case, the integral evaluates out really nicely. We get an answer of 6 pi. Okay, for our next example, let's consider a simple mass computation where we have some two-dimensional plate that is bounded above by the graph y equals 4 minus x squared and bounded below by y equals 0 if the density rho of x and y is variable. If it equals 1 plus x squared plus y, then what is the mass? Well, if we consider this region, if I look at the graph of y equals 4 minus x squared, I can see that for the region above the x-axis, it goes from x equals negative 2 to x equals positive 2. Now, which way do we want to integrate this? The area element in this case is an infinitesimal rectangle with dimensions dx and dy. Now, I don't know, let's integrate vertically first. The mass element, dm, is the density, 1 plus x squared plus y, times dy dx. That means we'll be integrating vertically first. What are the limits on y? Well, at the bottom, fixing a value of x, y goes from 0 to, at the top, we get 4 minus x squared. That sweeps out this vertical strip. Once we've done that, then, integrating in x goes from negative 2 to positive 2. Now, integrating that expression, that integrand, with respect to y gives us y plus y times x squared plus y squared over 2. Then we evaluate that as y goes from 0 to 4 minus x squared and integrate the whole thing as x goes from negative 2 to positive 2. So performing those evaluations gives us what? y evaluates to 4 minus x squared minus 0. Then yx squared evaluates to 4x squared minus x to the fourth. Then y squared over 2 evaluates to 8 minus 4x squared plus x to the fourth over 4. That simplifies to 12 minus x squared minus x to the fourth over 4. And now we integrate that as x goes from negative 2 to positive 2, giving us 12x minus x cubed over 3 minus x to the fifth over 10. Evaluating that from negative 2 to positive 2 gives us an answer of 544 over 15 as you can check. Now, we integrated vertically first. Would it have been easier to do it the other way? Would it have been more difficult? Why don't you 
give it a try. C, solve for x as a function of y, and have fun. Let me know when you're finished.